Hello English 151. Today we're going to talk about sentence fragments. This lecture shouldn't be too long, so hopefully you'll be able to watch it in a short amount of time. So the first thing that you have to remember is that there are three things that make up a sentence or a independent clause. Those three things are a subject, a predicate, and a complete thought. So a sentence fragment is any clause that is missing either any one of those elements that I just listed. So for example, um, you can say the cat, the fluffy cat, the fluffy cat whose ears twitched as he slept. Those are all sentence fragments because they are missing an essential element in order to be considered a a complete sentence and be a complete thought. So the cat is missing a predicate and a complete thought. And the fluffy cat whose ears twitched as he slept is missing a complete thought. So a sentence must include a subject, a predicate, um, and a complete thought. So if you look at the example Percy experienced an odd desire, period, looking at the plate of fish. Looking at the plate of fish is a sentence fragment because it's not a complete thought. So if you were looking at trying to fix this, you could say Percy experienced an odd desire as he was looking at the plate of fish. So you could add in an extra word and combine it with the previous sentence. Or you could switch around which order the information appears in. So looking at the fish, comma, Percy experienced an odd desire. So a dependent clause fragment contains a subject and a predicate, but it does not express a complete thought. So in some cases, it might begin with a subordinating conjunction or a relative pronoun. So if you're looking at the same thing that we were looking at earlier, looking at the plate of fish, Percy experienced an odd desire, period, as he dove for the plate of fish. So if you stick as at the beginning, it's no longer a complete thought because of the word as, because he dove for the plate of fish is a complete sentence. But if you stick as at the beginning, it no longer is. Or if you have a relative pronoun, looking at the plate of fish, Percy experienced a non desire, period, which made him dive for the plate. Which is also another word that if you put it onto the beginning of the sentence, it's no longer a complete thought. So there are a whole bunch of different subordinate conjunction fragment examples that we could go through. For example, because his car was in the shop, after the rain stops, when you finally take the test, since you asked, if you want to go with me. Those are all um, subordinating, subordinating conjunction fragments. Um, that is because it begins with a subordinating conjunction, because, after, when, since, if. So um, those are all subordinating conjunctions and there are a whole list of them. So whenever you use a subordinating conjunction, you may need to make sure your sentence is a complete thought. So you can't just say, because his car was in the shop, you have to finish the the idea. So because his car was in the shop, he had to walk to work. Um, remember that if you take off the subordinating conjunction, you can just say his car was in the shop and it's a complete thought. So I have a whole bunch of different examples in practice that you can look at when you're looking at the slides that I've posted on Moodle. So the examples in practice um, covers two different slides. Um, the first one begins with number one, Joe is. Number two, eating chicken. Number three, a book without a cover. Number four, since I like fishing. Number five, 
which is why I cried. Six, when we got in the car. Seven, from morning until night. Number eight, start after the weekend. So those are the first page of examples that you might need to um, look at. The second slide goes like this. Number one, a scene of horror with chairs overturned and paper scattered everywhere. Number two, studying late into the night. Number three, we ran to the store, period, to buy soda, period. Number four, since he came late to class. Five, when she noticed it missing. Number six, the sun shining, the warm breeze, the cool surf, palms blowing in the breeze. Number seven, because the exam is next week. So all of those are examples of sentence fragments. So if you want to be able to practice, what you have to do is take a look at those examples and try to decide how you're going to make it a complete sentence. So that's it for that um, lecture. It was a pretty short lecture um, and it was periodically interrupted by Percy who is right here. Uh, he's a good boy most of the time. But anyways, I hope that the sentence fragment lecture was helpful for you and that you'll be able to understand better how to fix sentence fragments in your own work. Please remember that you can use sentence fragments in creative works and um, works of creative nonfiction, such as the personal essay. Have a good day and don't get into too much trouble.